So right here at Cordwood Landing, we're doing a stormwater treatment um, retrofit. So in front of us, we can see an existing stormwater treatment system that's capturing runoff from the roadway. Um, and we're also gonna be installing a new one towards the end of the landing to capture kind of the overflow that this doesn't get and everything from the parking area. Um, and right now they're just getting started with construction. So um, down the way they're setting up kind of the um, silt socks for erosion control around the edge. Um, one of the biggest problems you can get in terms of maintenance with stormwater systems is you get too much um, organic material, sand washing into them, that clogs up the system because really these are all about capturing the rainwater and the pollutants and, and removing them through the soil and um, root layer. So you need the water to be able to soak in. So if you get sand and, and leaf material in there, they're not going to function anymore. They're going to get clogged up. So that's the first important step to, to getting things ready for construction. The large stormwater treatment system near the road is capturing a lot of the runoff right from um, Old Post Road, but some of that continues down the landing and this whole parking area, which is all soil and sediment, the rest of that continues downstream and into the bays untreated. So, I mean, that can be anything from, again, the nitrogen bacteria, other pollutants off of cars. So right in front of us, this is going to be the location of the new stormwater treatment system, which is going to capture the majority of the rest of that runoff. Um, so kind of the area surrounded by, um, at least here, the pink, where there used to be a parking spot, that's essentially where the new system is going to be. Um, and then again, around it, we've cleared all of the invasives, so that'll get cleared and planted out with native plants as well. And it improves the view now that we don't have kind of this so growth of brush. I mean, one of the things we want to do is not just improve water quality, but you know, see how this landing is being used and improve it for the public. So, so kind of from where we're standing down to the water to stabilize it, to improve that access for boats and vehicles, um, we're going to have these porous paver materials. Again, it allows the rainwater to soak in, but it, it um, reduces the erosion that we're going to get and any of the bacteria that would cling to that sediment that would get washed in is no longer going to get washed into the water. It's engineering with nature in mind is really what it is. Like you're using what plants can naturally do, what the soil naturally does, and you're engineering with nature. Um, so it's, it's not completely natural, but you're using um, the natural functioning, those chemical processes to, tr to help treat what we've kind of, um, where we've caused problems.